Hello and welcome back to the new video of Incredible Medo Concepts. Today we're going to learn about the SAR of cephalosporins. Well, cephalosporins are the beta lactam antibiotics which are composed of two rings. First one is the beta lactam ring and second one is the dihydrothiazin ring. If I want to number the ring, we'll start from the sulfur atom. That is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 Now the question arises why it is named so dihydrothiazin as you can see that two hydrogen atoms are removed from the third and fourth position to form double bond and one sulfur atom is present at the first position that that's why it is named so dihydrothiazin now let's check the point of modification and its effect on the activity now let's check out the significance of these two rings first one is the beta lactam ring beta lactam ring is essential for the pbp reactivity as well as antibacterial activity Second one is the dihydrothiazin ring. Dihydrothiazin ring make it more stable toward the acids and penicillinase. Penicillinase is an enzyme that is responsible for the degradation of cephalosporins. So dihydrothiazin ring make it more stable and prevent the degradation from penicillinase enzyme. And if we see the sulfur atom at first position, if we oxidize the sulfur atom to sulfone or sulfoxide, it will destroy the antibacterial activity. If we see the fourth position at carboxylic group carboxylic group at fourth position has been converted to ester pro drug to increase the bioavailability of cephalosporins this carboxylic group is also required for the salt formation friends if we see the third position of the dihydrothiazin ring pharmacokinetic and pharmacodynamic directly depend on the c3 substituent modification at c3 position has been done to reduce the degradation of cephalosporins like orally active compounds are produced by the replacement of acetoxy group with methyl or chlorine atom friends if benzoyl esters of cephalosporins are produced it will have higher gram positive bacteria activity as compared to gram negative bacteria activity it means it will be more active against the gram positive bacteria as compared to gram negative bacteria friends if we see the third position and fourth positions one double bond is present double bond between position 3 and position 4 is essential for the activity if we change that double bond or if we modify that double bond it will lead to loss of activity friends now we are going to observe the effect of modification of 7 acyl amino substituent on the activity and if we add amino group and hydrogen atom to alpha and alpha 1 position it will produce one basic compound which will be protonated under the acidic condition of stomach the ammonium ion formed due to the acidic condition of stomach improve the stability of cephalosporins and make the orally active compound friends if we do acylation for the amino group in the side chain it will produce that compound which will be more active against the gram positive bacteria and if we see the aryl group in the side chain phenyl group can be replaced with the heterocyclic ring such as thiophene furan which will increase the spectrum of antibacterial activity So this is all about the SAR of cephalosporins. Hope so you like the video. Thank you so much.